I'm making I'm making a origami swan. I like making origami swans because I either make two to three because I think of the swans as basically family. So me and mom. I used to live with my mom and my sister, my brother, and my little brother. She had bipolar um, depression, so um, she was always sleeping, and our dad was always so rude. He had like thrown us kids downstairs, and the caseworkers came, and then they brought us to different homes, and then that's basically how it all started. Um, Bridge had been in three different foster homes from August of 2010 till uh, she moved here. And we met at the Tacoma Children's Museum. And she came down the street and she was skipping and kind of spinning, holding on to her um, foster mom's hand. Then December 4th, 2011, um, she moved in. I have stuffed animals down there. I have stuffed animals on my bed. You can tell that my room is very, very naturey. I like um, nature and I like having a lot of things around. And um, it sort of nature helps me relax. One day she was walking down the hallway and she said, you said we, we were gonna get to know each other and when we did, we were gonna do the adoption. I said, yes. She said, well, we know each other. And then she's like, yeah, do you want to? And I'm like, yeah. And um, that was the best moment. And then October 5th, 2012, uh, we had our adoption. And I feel like Amara has really helped me through all that. And then ever since, it's been a great family. This one is Prickly, this one is um, Oscar, and this one's Pinky. The first sleepover she had here, she was playing with Play-Doh. She tends to fidget with things when big thoughts are gonna come out. And she said, I think I love you, but my heart doesn't know yet. It was the first family where I felt happy and I had freedom, and I didn't have to keep in my feelings, and I could just um, relax and be happy. Without her, without Amara, um, I don't get to be a mom. I feel like she's the, she's the kid I was meant to parent. And this is a picture with me and my mom and Jenny, um, my, my next caseworker. Would have been so hard without the support of Amara, without Jenny, of even on a hard day I could call her and go, Okay, there's this new behavior that I don't really know what to do about. Why is this coming out? I have a whole lot of paper, because I love origami. I have origami. I think I may be an engineer or some type of paper master. And I love puzzles and hidden picture things. I want to help tie all the pieces of her life together so that it doesn't feel to her like chunks and bits and disjointed, but that she has more continuity. If I hadn't had Amara, some days I think, I don't know if Bridget and I would be where we are. She gets mad when I get mad, when I'm actually sad. That picture is one of my favorite pictures, a self-portrait. Having them there to walk you through it so that you can make a home for this kid and be the parent that they need you to be. The system needs to be better at looking out for the kids, but there are so many kids out there that wait in the system and that don't find families. And until they have that stability, they can't settle. That's why I make origami swans, because I feel like it's like, um, our family folding on each other like our family is the paper and it folds on each other to make a masterpiece.